Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is the Thursday edition of Rasaji Speaks. I hope you had a great midweek. Let's see what our lesson entails today. The unheeded voice of reason. What was Pilate's wife's influence on him? and on the early Christian movement. Well, one of the most popular things was is that she had written a letter that would end up saying that they were ready to die for Jesus. And the letter got to Pilate himself she writes a letter to the Jewish leader saying that Jesus is the son of God, right? Prosia was her name, Prosia. But Jesus picks up the letter to say that Prosia, right? That Prosia is blessed and will be rewarded. So instead of it going right to him, Jesus, in one of his final moments before the crucifixion, is protecting the innocent there itself. Also, Priscilla and her ladies that worked with her, her servants, give garments to Mary and Mary that are going to be used to wipe some of the blood stains off of Jesus's actual body. One of the big ones that people don't know that Lama G knows is that, you know, when, when, when John the beloved and Andrew Peter go to the centurion Cornelius, Priscilla is there. Right? You got to remember, Pilate was extremely weak. He was very scared and afraid of the Jewish leadership. He was partially scared of Herod Jr., but not as much as he was scared of the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin. There's where he was really fearful. This was already getting back to Caesar that this was going on. And Caesar was personal friends with Cornelius before Cornelius had been there. He was also sent there not only to give strength to back up Pilate, but to also watch Pilate for Caesar because he was Caesar's personal bodyguard before he actually went through Judea. So the relationship between Cornelius and Caesar was really tight. And it would be soon after this that Pilate would be dead and be renounced and renowned. And of course, his wife will end up with nothing because she later becomes one of the earlier followers of Christianity as Andrew Peter begins to take leadership of the early Christian movement. It's really interesting to think of how this intertwines. She doesn't get a lot of play in scripture. That's the part, again, that doesn't make scripture that the Lama Siri knows about. Very interesting. Think of the dynamics there. Think you're in the house of the governor that's going to announce his death and the wife herself becomes a believer. Talking about a voice of reason and a voice. It's kind of like the people that we have that are part of our medical holistic advisory board at the Circle of Chi that we've created to merge Eastern and West medicine so that we have an example. Speaking of that, Dr. Jeannie Grace herself 
will be on with us today at PFL. And she'll be introducing in depth uh, frequency healing um, technology that our people are going to be extremely excited about. Lama Chi has been working with this with my wife, Mita, since October. And so I've had some profound experience with this technology. You're going to want to tune in today because we're having an expert from the company itself that actually is producing this technology. Healing, frequency, vibration, everything is, is how we catapult forward in the healing arena. So you definitely want to tune in to that. And Dr. Jenny is just incredible uh, human being. Uh, she's one of Lama G's top advisors myself for my own health. So you can imagine what I think of her and definitely of her opinion. Tune in. You'll enjoy what you have to hear today. But again, a voice of reasoning, a voice of intelligence. She had nothing to gain by professing her faith to Jesus. And so Jesus takes the letter right before he's going to be scourged. And he takes it and he reads it out that she's blessed in order for him. Pilate never gets the official letter, and though it's meant for him. It's not. Because everybody was about to divide and conquer. And as you know, shortly after Pilate passes away, the wife becomes an incredible follower. She begins to go where Peter goes. She forms an incredible alliance with Cornelius, as we know from earlier, Rasaji Speaks last week, that is absolutely phenomenal what comes up. It makes an interesting spin and twist when you think about how that is. I mean, the old saying, a house divided cannot stand. Well, his house, Pilate's house, was majorly divided. That's for sure. And she knew that this man was a man of God and he spoke the truth. And as she got closer to Cornelius, those two had incredible influence on the uncircumcised people, the Gentiles, to become believers in the early Christian movement. So it's very important, in my opinion, how that ties into everything. I hope you enjoy, again, hearing a little bit of the light of truth about what is going on. Have a wonderful Thursday. Look forward to seeing you on PFL today. Send a link, bring a friend. You're going to really enjoy what you're going to hear today. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow on the live training with Master Lama G. I get, I'm excited about seeing you. God bless you and your family. Baraka Bashide, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. God bless you.